guys, welcome to my channel. I'm April Honey. Today, we are gonna go on an adventure through a mush paradise. We're on the island of Evergrove by my good friend, Crispy Crafts. Crispy is also a content creator here on YouTube and I will put a link to her channel down in the description below along with the dream address so you can follow along if you wish. This island is just a mushcore dream. I can't wait to show it to you. It's super adorable. I had the pleasure of watching some of it being built on her channel and it always amazes me how she throws these islands together and they're so good and so fast. Let's just get started. And this entrance does not disappoint. Look at this. It is all of the mushcore adorableness. I love all of the red and white mush items. I am obsessed with this little rug I'm standing on right here. All of the codes are super cute. The little Kuropi snack looks like he's having a great time here. I love the way the mom's carnations look on this island as well. All of the reds and the whites. It's just such a happy island and I really love going through here. It's funny, I commented on one of her speed builds. I was like, I think this code looks very similar to one I made when I was first learning how to make custom designs. She was like, yeah, that's that's the one you made. And I was floored. I didn't think the one I made was actually this good. I never had the opportunity to use it, but I just didn't for some reason think it was that good. So yay, go past me. Her entrance and all of this around residence services looks so good, which is what I was showing you. And there's a glowing moss pond right at the entrance. And right here is where you'll find the cute little outfit that I'm wearing, along with a couple of other outfits that I won't spoil for you. And right over here, she has a little garden and it has like red flowers and the white little mushrooms. If you look at it on the map, and that would be it in the front, like right corner by the water right there. So cute. I love how creative that is. We have Sherry on this island, and then over here we just have a cute little pathway on the beach with the Cosmo showers. I love that. The Kuropi Bridge is creating a double bridge moment right here, and I love that. Okay, we're going to go back, and I'm going to go up the incline next to Resonance Services. Oh, okay. Up here we have our Nook's Cranny. Nook's Cranny is looking super adorable here. I love the apple trees in front of it. I've not ever decorated with fruit trees on an island before after my first island, but I think I would if I used made an island like this because they're super fitting and it looks so cute. The reds just go really well and red and green are such good colors together. So I love the way this looks. This is awesome. Right next to Nook's Cranny, we have a little garden shop for all of your garden needs. Super cute. Across this bridge, there's a little wooden plank path, which is going to lead us to Blathers on the beach. He's studying mushrooms over here, obviously, of course, right? What else would he be studying here? I love how he has the power up Mario mushrooms. Those are perfect here. And look at Henry. Henry is being so cute on this island. I love that. Oh, there's a little campsite over here. So the little mushy guy is going camping. Oh, this beach is so cute. It's just like so happy, right? Everything about this island is just super cheerful and happy. And I really love that. All of the flowers are gorgeous. I really love red and green together. And the color palette on this island is just really beautiful. She has the red dragonfly models and also the ladybug models. Those are perfect here. Super adorable. I'm going to go back to the front. So continuing around, there's a little tulip farm right here. And this is super cute if I could ever get to the middle. Okay, so back at the front, we have a little tulip farm. This is so cute and creative. Wow, I love the way this came out. It's absolutely adorable super happy and just fun vibes i love this all right now if we continue along this way right here we have um just a little seating area really cute and this kind of looks like poppy's house but it's probably not 
It's Cherry's house because she does actually redecorate all of the houses on her islands. I do too, but it's always surprising that other people do it because I see so many people don't anymore. This is so cute right here, this little stand. I love the, these two items together and they look really cute. There's a little reading nook over here with a little bear having a picnic, which is super adorable. And here is the spiral pond that we saw on the um, map over here. And I love spiral ponds. They're so whimsical and so fun. Let's see if I can get my way out. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna go back up this path right here. I love this little wooden plank path. It's super cute. Just very fun. And we have a little a mum cushion and a lily pad right here. Also very cute. There's a little froggy table moment over here by this house. This would be Tad's house. Oh, and it's so cute. Look at the little frog. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. I love this house with Raja Brooks over there on the pillar and this cute little pond right here. It's adorable. Right behind Cherry's house, we have this super fun and whimsical mush path right here. It's so cool with all of the different platforms, the mush platforms and the mush lamps. It looks so neat. Let's go take a walk down this path and see what we come to. Oh, how fun this is. I really love this. This is so cute. It's right along the edge of the beach. Let's see what's at the end of it. <gasps> oh, we have a cute little garden right here. I love that. Look at it. It's so pretty. And then we have a villager house over here. This villager is also selling flowers, which seems like a good job to have on this island. They have lots of flowers and obviously lots of need for flowers. I'm going to go up this incline because it seems like the last place you can go up here. Oh, this is a cute little house. I love the way the, um, the tiny library is set up like a mailbox. And we have a little bear reading over here and a little dining area. So cute. That's adorable. Let's come down here and see what we find. Okay, so this is Yuna Wow's house. And although I have feelings about Yuna Wow, her house is lovely. I love the butterfly at the top of the tree. That looks so cute. And it's so fun, right? Oh my gosh. Let's see what's going on over here. Hey, look at the little froggy puddle. That's adorable. We have another villager house right over here and a little mush garden. This is so sweet right here. Oh, I didn't know you can actually customize the mush wand. That's really good to know. I thought we were stuck with the brown one. Yeah, I've been playing this game since launch and I still didn't know that. I know, I know. You learn something new every day in Animal Crossing, K. And our back beach is just looking natural, but I love this path leading up to it is so cool. Let's see what's over here. I love these pathways like this where they're just nice and enclosed and you just, there's only one way to go. You're not getting lost. You're not getting stuck. You just go where it takes you. We have another villager house down here and this one is looking really cute as well. Let me go to, all the way to the front to get, get the best view. Okay, there we go. This is super cute as well. Look at it. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. Wow, that is amazing. We have a, um, we have the bridge right over here. And that was also the house that we had already gone to by the spiral pond. So this is the house across the bridge from it. Okay, so now we're going to take the bridge behind resident services and we have a little orchard campsite situation. I love the way the pears and the apples look together. They make such a cute little pear right there. I know I'm so lame. Anyways, let's go around here. We still have the mush items mixed in with the orchard. Super cute. And then we have our 
villager that is over here and it'll tell us we can't talk to him. But look at these cliffs behind here. That looks so good. That is beautiful right here. I love the way that looks. We have our little garden gnomes greeting us. Okay, so at, back at the entrance, we're gonna go ahead and go to the left and see what's over on this side. Over here in the front, we have a cute little seating area. I love it. Super adorable. And we have a little waterfall over here. There's a cute little campsite on the beach over here. Very adorable. And we have an Eric over here, a cute little natural path that leads all the way up the rest of this beach up until the peninsula. The peninsula has a really cute mush seating area over here and I love it. It's beautiful. And then if you continue straight on back, there is more nature. I'm going to go ahead and go over this bridge right here and see what's going on over here. We have another villager's house over here and I love the way this one was done. It fits in so well. It was really great. And then we have this little mush pathway over here. And there's a little movie cinema going on on the beach on the back rocks over here. These are always so cute to me. I love that. So if we keep walking right here, we have our rock garden. What a beautiful rock garden. I love the way this is set up. It is gorgeous with a glowing moss pond in the middle. So pretty. Okay, so this is Crispy's house right over here. Crispy's house looks so whimsical and enchanted and I love the way this was set up over here. Everything is beautiful. Oh my goodness, she brought the outdoors in. Look at how cute this is. Y'all, you're lacking um, interior ideas? Then just decorate the exterior, it's fine. Oh, over here we have like a little ladybug room. How cute. That is just so sweet. I love this so much. Wow, this is adorable. Absolutely precious. Okay, now if we go to the other side, we have a cute little mushy kitchen. How cute is this with all of the little ranch furniture? mixed in oh my gosh i love the flooring in here it looks really nice and i the straw mat goes really well in here oh wow so we're in the basement i wasn't afraid of this basement because she did let me know that there's no um there was no creeps to be afraid of in here look at this Oh my goodness, this is so cool. It's a little bit eerie, I guess. And we do have this little voodoo puppy thing that people wrote all over. Hopefully, hopefully it, he's all right. But we have like the little butterflies floating around the butterflies. Like how cool is that? Okay, so up here we have a cute little mush forest situation. It is adorable. I love it. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Wow. It's like a bedroom, but it's like a little mush paradise too. Okay, so the inside of the house was adorable. Let's continue following this little mush path over here. It's always so awkward when I make a path and I'm like, I want to say it's an adorable path, but like I made it. So then that, I don't know. Anyways, we're going to come right over here to a villager neighborhood. Super cute. I love the way this looks right here. There's a little pond right here. Super cute. And a well. And it looks like there's another house up there. So let's go up here. Okay, so this third tier, it looks like has another house over here. This is super cute. I love it so much. Wow, look at that. It's so fun. I've never used the leaf, that leaf guy. Um, You know which one I mean. He's a leaf, but then he crawls away. He looks like a new look. 
He looks like a nook leaf laying on the ground and then he just walks away. That one. Okay, so we're gonna go up this incline over here on the other side of the bridge and see what's over here. And we have our Avil sisters. Our Avil sisters have a cute little sewing area right here. She's also a cover the window kind of girl. You never know what they're gonna have in that window, y'all. And this is super cute. I love this. So pretty. Now, the Able Sisters is actually the second video that I saw in this series right here, and it's the one I recognize this path in, which is kind of funny because I did watch a video before this of the entrance and did not recognize the path in that one. Okay, so I know from watching her content that there's something up there, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let Magic April open the screen when we get there, okay? Okay. I'll see you in a second, like literally one second. And here we have it, her little magic overlook. Look how cute this is with the dollhouse and the distance. So adorable. I love the way it looks. And I walked all the way around back there and you honestly couldn't tell from the back what it was back there. But this was beautiful and I left it for last because I did know that it was here because I do watch her channel. So I didn't want to give it away in advance, but look at how pretty. I love this overlook so much. It's like my favorite thing on the island. Okay guys, here is where I'm going to leave you. Thank you so much to Crispy Crafts for allowing me to tour your beautiful mush island. And I'm gonna leave a link for Crispy down in the description below. I highly encourage you guys to go and give her a look. She's absolutely amazing, super sweet. And as a person, just a wholesome adorable person you should definitely go and check her out also um i'm gonna leave the dream address down in the description below as well and i know you guys could be anywhere in the entire world and you chose to spend a minute of your time here with me and i appreciate you so much for that and i never take that for granted thank you guys so much for being here i will see you guys in the next one bye